All right, so today I'm gonna to share with you how to grow canna lilies from seeds the proper way. They're a really pretty flower. The first thing we gotta do is find some seeds. And actually right here some. Grab a few more. All right, so these little pods here that you're seeing, they have little black seeds in them. You squeeze that and they pop out. That's the candle lily seed. I have a whole bunch in bags on my back porch, so I'm gonna go grab some more. And these are the red flowers with the dark leaves. Those are the ones that I just grabbed. So I'm gonna make sure they're labeled properly. These are a little beat up because it's been hot lately with the sun, but uh, normally these look a lot better. So let me go show you what we need to do to make these seeds grow properly and turn into big healthy canna lilies. All right, so this is how you start the canna lily seeds. Uh, number one, you're gonna need a file. That's gonna be the easiest thing to get it going and a pair of pliers. I mean, I got a pair of, I don't know, eight, ten dollar pliers and uh, some candle lily seeds. You just grab the candle lily seed with the plier. You want to get a good grip on it, just like that. Turn it to where you can get a side. Let's give it a few scrapes and see you can see white. You see that white right there? All I did was go through the shell of that candle lily seed. And then what you do is you drop it in a cup of water, just like that. In about, usually about a, I don't know, five days or a week, you get a tail that pops out at the end of that candle lily seed. And once that pops out, you're good to plant it in the ground. And uh, I'm gonna do another one, show you guys how I did that again. Just try to get it to where you get an edge of the seed of the pliers and just rub through it like that. If you plant this seed in the ground without rubbing that shell like that, it could take anywhere from several months to several years before it pops up. Canna lily seeds are weird like that, but you just scrape it open so water can get in it and drop it in a cup like that and it'll pop out in about a week. And here's another trick about this water that you have here. This water is actually rainwater. I use rainwater on all my plants every chance I get unless we're going through a long dry spell because water from the city and stuff like that, it has chlorine and fluoride and all kinds of junk in it that's bad for your plants. The seeds will still pop up if you use city water. These are, are pretty tough seeds, but if you can use rainwater, it's better for them. So I'm gonna file off a few more of these and uh, after you plant these in the ground, you know, you're gonna put them in some good potting soil. And after you plant them in the ground, Within another, I don't know, week or two, you have a little green thing pop out of the ground, which is the start of that canna lily. All the canna lilies I have here, I've grown from seeds. I've taken the seeds from my mom's house and grew them here. So I never even had to buy any of them. Um, actually, I did, buy, I did buy one that I liked, but other than that, everything came from my mom's house from seeds. It's very, very easy to do. And uh, takes about 10 minutes. And you can knock out about 15 seeds and I like to plant them anywhere from four to eight inches apart. I like them kind of close together. They seem to do better that way. They hold each other up, especially in heavy rains and in strong winds like we have here. And uh, some of the varieties of the canna lilies grow real tall. I have some that are growing like almost six feet tall. It's crazy. And others don't get more than a couple feet tall. So it just depends on which kind you're growing. These right here, the ones that had the red flowers and the darker leaves, I also have red flowers with green leaves and yellow and yellow with orange in them and orange and all different colors. There's just so many types of canna lilies. You see that there within a couple minutes, got all those seeds done. And then, uh, you know, within probably two months, maybe three months from the time that seed pops out of the ground, you already have flowers on your canna lilies. It doesn't take very long and uh, they bloom real well in the spring and in the fall. They bloom all summer long too, but right now, the canna lilies are looking a little weak here in July because we've had a lot of 95 degree days, and that's a bit warm for them. All right, there's your seeds. And uh, good luck growing your canna lilies.